Some version 8.1 offers a new element, the rack pinion. As most other elements, the rack pinion is defined by two nodes. Additionally, the length of the rack is defined. This video shows two basic mechanisms for generic application of the rack pinion. Let's start from scratch. Select the menu item for the rack pinion. Select the center of the axis for the pinion gear. Select the radius for the pinion gear. Select the second node of the rack. Next we can choose at which side of the pinion we want to have the rack positioned. Also we can decide which length it will have. Fix the wheel to the world such a way that it can still rotate. Fix the node of the rack to the world in a means that it is a horizontal guidance. The rack is still free to move away from the pinion, so we must fix the angle of the rack. Choose fix angle, point to the element and we fix here we see a little dot, which means that the angle is fixed. Now we will add a drive to see the rack pinion at work. We choose for a simple crank slider mechanism. We fix this to world and we add a motor on beam 3 which turns 360 degrees. Next, we will see the rack pinion working. Be aware, this rack is a horizontal moving rack. In the next example, we will show a rack that is positioned at any angle. In this demo, we create a rack pinion for which the rack angle is changing. Here we see the rack pinion. The pinion gear is the drive of the mechanism. Let's see it working. First, we create a new rack pinion. From the menu we select the rack pinion. This is the center of the gear. Choose a radius. Choose the node of the rack pinion. And we choose a length for the rack. Now we need a beam and a slider to fixate the distance between the rack and the pinion. In fact, we create a parallel guidance. So here's the beam from there to there and a slider. And we also need to fixate the angles between those elements. So we fixate the rack with the beam and we fixate the beam and the slider. Next we fixate the pinion to the world and add an input motion to the gear. This is the fixation to the world and we choose for rotational motor. We add on the gear on this node 360 degrees Okay. Finally, we complete the mechanism with another beam to get it working. 
choose the beam or fix the beam to world and now it works and we see the rack angle is changing forced by the drive of the extra beam As usual, we can change all properties of the rack pinion. We double click the element, and here we see the properties. Things like the length of the rack, the radius of the gear, some masses and some masses of inertia and positions of the mass. And even we can afterwards change the direction of the rack. We can let it be positioned opposite of the gear wheel. Okay. Thank you for watching.